And we're back for some more Final Fantasy action. Reboard the train. the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. Wow. I... <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish, but to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. Uh -huh. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. Wow. Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. She the flower girl? Lady Lunafreya was lucky to find a nice guy like you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Fresh water fire. Goodbye, little girl. May you live long and prosper. Will we ever see the dawn again? <sighs> what has become of our world? It's been dark for so long. Oh, looks like the night will never end. It will. Trust me. How in the world could something like this happen? Perhaps this is the way it ends. I listened to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. Ouch. Muscle stimulant. I sincerely apologize for I the sincerely inconvenience. apologize for no, the inconvenience. We sit and wait war zone. When are we getting back on the road? As soon as all of our preparations are in order. I don't want to die here. I understand. Neither does anyone else. Good day to you, sir. Lady Luna Freya once tended a garden filled with scylla blossoms, watering the flowers herself. Sadly, the whole field went up in flames. Uh, it's heartbreaking to see what's become of it. Our house is gone. <laughs> Where are we supposed to go now, Mama? I don't know yet, but Mama will find us somewhere new. I know. Why don't we go see Grandma in Altisha? Okay. So you're Lady Luna Freya's fiance, right? 
want to know something? Okay, then. Everyone knows she liked pretty flowers, but you want to know what else she liked? Pool stickers. It has <laughs> to be true. Oh. It has to be true. I swear I saw a giant serpent back there. You too, huh? <sighs> Good to know I'm not going crazy. This has been one wild ride. We should hop off before it gets any wilder. I don't want to keep going. You don't think the soldiers here will hurt us, do you? I certainly hope not. <gasps> I can't believe my eyes. What do we do now? How could something like this happen? Is the capital okay? Capital idea. Is the manor badly damaged? It's seen better days. So have the civilians. They've been through a lot. And the Chancellor's the one who put them through it. Put us through a hell of a lot, too. He never gets in our way. But he sure loves messing with us. Well, there's a good chance he got his hands on Prompto. Just hope he doesn't mess with him too bad. Ravis didn't have it much better than Lady Lunafreya. Pity we never got the chance to talk things out. Hopefully, His Majesty's glaive awaits us in the capital. Should be, as long as Ravis has it on his person. Just hope the Chancellor isn't awaiting us too. Still can't believe House Flore has reached the end of its family line. Ah. Oh. House Flore. Ah. Oh. It's rather strange. Lady Gentiana has not graced strange. us with her presence as of late. <sighs> Perhaps she has no reason to stay, now that the blood of the Oracle is no more. Like her, others will eventually leave, and the land of Tenebrae will be lost to memory. Why say such things? Why do you speak of such things? I guess we should give up on the capital. Yeah, ought to find somewhere safer to hawk our wares. Sounds like the lab in Grawley is a real mess. Wouldn't surprise me if it really is haunted. Wonder where Emperor Idolos went off to. Somewhere six feet under, like the High Commander. <laughs> Lady Luna Freya. Now we don't have a home to go back to. I don't like it here. I'm scared. It's okay, dearie. Grandma's here. It's okay to cry. Let it out. The Empire has declared Lord Ravis a traitor and sentenced him to death. I believe the attack on the manor was further punishment. Take heart. Everything Take heart. will be alright. Everything will be alright. good it does me to come here. I never even got to thank her for all that she's done. Then show your thanks by praying for her safety. I'm going to ask an Imperial about it again later. And I'll go with you when you do. <sighs> Great support, everyone. Reflex enhancer. I don't even use these things. I'll see if uh, I'll use them later. building
Welcome to the show, I'm just exploring this area before I reboard the train. How are you? Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cars for some new ones. Give awesome. one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off then. Dining car is open if you need a break. Oh, thank you, Biggs. Thank you, Wedge. Where's the dining car? Wow, I've almost been playing for three hours. Time flies when you're having fun. This is Luda Lane of Lady Freya's town. Ah, oh, there it is. Going longer is by no means a recent development. Not at all. The change was just too subtle for anyone to notice so recently. It took three extra hours of darkness for people to panic, and now it's completely irregular. The other day we got half an hour more night. Days, days are numbered, I tell you. That's that ain't true. You're saying the hunters are on high alert? That's right. What with all them scholarly folks talking about the nights growing longer. They've been looking into this for a while. They ain't once recorded a day with more sunlight than the last. Ain't no telling when night will fall and the demons will come out. So we recommend y'all take extra care. I shudder to think that if the nights keep growing longer, there may soon come a day that won't be day at all. That's... that's... that's bullshit. That's baloney. 